You're watching your other man. This is your tropical update. Fred is now back up to tropical storm status. And it's beginning to strengthen. It's up to 45 mile an hour winds now. And it has a lot of potential to strengthen over the next 30 hours or so before it makes landfall. So as of right now, most of the worst of the weather is off to the east of the storm. And now that most of Mobile and Pensacola has been cut off from any chance of a direct hit, that means that those two cities will likely be spared from the worst of the weather as the storm makes landfall tomorrow night around 7 p.m., give or take an hour or two. And as the storm moves north between now and then, I would give it about a 40% chance of actually becoming a hurricane by the time it makes landfall. As of right now, we have tropical storm warnings up for much of the Florida Panhandle, as well as a small area of tropical storm watches between Pensacola and the Florida-Alabama border. From there, the storm moves inland, losing its tropical storm force winds, and then becoming post-tropical early on Wednesday, and then fully fizzling out over the Appalachian Mountains. So the good news is we'll be done with Fred in about three days. The bad news is within that three days, we're looking at a very wide swath of that orange indicating 6 to 10 inches of rain, and that includes a lot of areas along the Florida Panhandle. And we will probably see localized amounts higher than that, possibly 15 to 20 inches of rain if the storm happens to stall over a particular area. In addition to the rainfall, we're looking at up to 3 to 5 feet of storm surge for these southeast-facing beaches, according to the National Hurricane Center, and that could go much higher if the storm happens to strengthen up to a hurricane or something like that. Basically, what we have going on is we have the storm down here, and then we have this southerly to southeasterly wind coming up very strong. Again, most of the tropical storm force winds are on the right side of the storm, and that is what's going to be pushing that water right up against the shore, and that is where the most severe flooding problems are likely to occur. So as of right now, anywhere within the enclosed area has greater than a 50-50 shot of seeing 39 plus mile per hour sustained winds out of Tropical Storm Fred. So you can see the impact spread well inland, and it's not just concentrated down at the coast, though at the coast, wherever this thing makes landfall, hurricane force winds are possible. Elsewhere in the Atlantic, Grace has ironically weakened down to a tropical depression, which means that it will probably fizzle out over the Dominican Republic once it makes landfall. However, it may redevelop over the Gulf of Mexico once it gets done over Cuba, and then we'll have to see where it goes from there, possibly impacting southern Texas. Finally, we have this disturbance, which will be moving south. And when I did the screen record, it had a medium chance development, and then a special outlook came in from the National Hurricane Center at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, bumping it up to a high 70% chance. Anyways, it will be impacting Bermuda, at least the outer bands of the storm, over the next few days. And then beyond that, it is not real clear where it will go. But just like everything else in the Atlantic right now, we will continue to monitor it on this channel over the next several days. In the eastern Pacific, Linda is beginning to weaken. It just lost its major hurricane status down to a Category 2, and it will continue to make its way out to sea and fizzle out. The central Pacific is quiet, and that would do it for your tropical update. Please give the video a like or rumble if you're on that platform, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, ring that notification bell because I will be doing another video tomorrow morning on Tropical Storm Fred as well as everything else in the tropics.